I'm Randy Vance. I'm offshore near Tavernier, Florida on Invincible's brand new 37 catamaran. Now, if you were ever looking for a boat to take you to the Bahamas, well, hell, I'd take this one to Aruba, and I'm going to show you why right now. All right, now this boat is built on a Melvin and Morelli semi-asymmetrical catamaran design. It's a double-stepped hull. It gives you outstanding efficiency, about 600 miles if you're paying attention to your fuel and speed. There's 1,600 horsepower of Verado, 400 horsepower engines back there, and we reached a top speed without even trying of 72 miles an hour just now. You're gonna get to Aruba, well, it might take you a few days and a couple fuel stops, but you are gonna get there. Now, you've got a super large helm station, and it's super durable. You can see that the upper structures are integrated into this console, and that gives it even more durability. Look at the pipework, it's as solid as can be. You've got the underside of this hard top is painted to match the side colors of the boat and that also knocks down glare, gives you kind of an impression of feeling cooler down below. Now you've got a centered helm here, all your switches are arrayed right below. But look at this, two 22 inch Garmin systems, all of them reporting the engine functions, your sonar, chart plotting, radar, Anything on this boat that operates on a NEMA 2000 backbone can be displayed and controlled right here on these screens. Now I like the way the helm seat's arranged. You've got three bucket seats. They're curved here so that you've got a comfortable position standing up. But if you want, you can just push back on the step down below and drive seated, especially if you have the autopilot set for your destination. Now you've also got dry storage underneath the helm seat and a large compartment in the base. But back here is where your helm seat area turns into a first class rigging station. You've got tackle storage on either end. You open those doors and there's drawers and utility boxes. But this is what I like. The mezzanine seating folds down and here's all the tackle rigging storage you need for being ready for the big fish. And then underneath the mezzanine seating, you've got a large cooler, which you could alternatively use for a fish box. Now there's also pull-out jump seats on either side of the transom live well. This boat is rigged to rock out with rods. There's 54 rod holders. You've got six shotgun rod holders, 10 in each gunnel. You've got 11 shared between the console and the forward coffin box, five more on the port side of the coffin box, and you've got six in the hard top and another five in the rigging station. These are all Gemlux rod holders. And when you see a cup holder, that's its only job. The rod holders do single duty. Now there's 65 gallons of live well capacity here in the transom. You've got an acrylic lid that's hung on friction hinges so it stays up on its own. There's also 70 gallons of live well in the floor. There's also two sea chests with a pair of pumps in each to give you a reliable redundancy in your live well capacity. Bring your fish aboard on the port side boarding door. It's handy at the dock too. Once on the boat, slide them in the fish box. There's four of them, two on each sponson. Now Invincible doesn't just make their boat a hardcore fisherman, they make it a hardcore crowd pleaser as well. You've got plenty of comfort on board, starting with this dual lounge on top of the coffin box. Now that's insulated for fish storage. Also, the dual seat on the front of the console has a cooler underneath. You've got dry storage up in the bow, two deep lockers on either side, and a center anchor locker. There's two raw water washdowns so you can keep the deck clear after getting it bloody, and fresh water washdowns, which are ideal after you've gone swimming or diving. Now to add to the convenience on board, the generous size helm station also accommodates a generous size head compartment which doubles as access to all your electrical panels and your electronics dash. Now there's plenty of factory installed options on board, like the Garmin radar, the rigid light bar, dual Gemlux carbon fiber outriggers, dual VHF radios, and this boat has a 14 speaker, four subwoofer, supporting amplifiers, JL audio system to rock your boat. Now the Invincible 37 is ready to fish, it's ready to show, and definitely ready to go. I'm Randy Vance in Tavernier, Florida on the 37 Cat by Invincible.